emerge over the valuation and compensation of land by government. The residents are supposed to be relocated to pave way for the construction of an oil refinery. Over 40 residents of Kabale Parish declined to receiving compensation, citing a flawed valuation of their assets. How can you compensate someone a house and it is a permanent house? You, you compensate him with, the, with the 120,000 on a permanent house. Can that person manage to build another one? At the center of these grievances is the late payments which have taken more than a year. Usually the practice is that it should not go beyond six months. Uh, and if it goes beyond one year, I think that would be uh, a sufficient ground for re-evaluation, restarting the process, re-evaluating the properties so that uh, uh, you can redo uh, the, the, the valuation process. However, a study conducted by an NGO called Civic Response on Environment and Development in the districts of Bulisa, Hoima and Nebi partly associates the undervaluation to lack of proper documentation to prove ownership of land. And this makes them very susceptible to land rights abuses. And also, the value of their land is low, if there's any form of compensation. The report also mentions fraudulent schemes by some residents with the connivance of district leaders to exploit the poor. You have communal land, land that was previously owned by the entire community. Individuals within the same community, or sometimes outsiders, registering it as a freehold. And of course, they do this... Uh, uh, in cohorts with the, the technical people in districts. Although majority of residents in both districts accepted compensation, about 2% opted for relocation. Their complaints that the government has turned a blind eye to people who are supposed to be relocated. But the spokesperson of the Ministry of Energy, Catherine Bekunda, says the relocation phase was hit by bottlenecks, like the construction of state-of-the-art homes for the residents. It is going to be a three-bedroom house uh, with uh, uh, dining and sitting room. So this transition from the original plan to this one has also delayed us a little bit to take them to the places. Government has identified land to resettle the people in Buseruka, especially those who are living in the areas where the refinery is going to be constructed. Solomon Seruanja, NTV Weekend Edition.